Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a breakdown look and my thoughts on the newly revealed images of the Transformers 3A Deluxe Optimus Prime from the Bumblebee movie, a design that has quickly established itself as a fan favorite after debuting in the most recent entry into the Transformers franchise. And with this latest announcement from 3A, we can finally see all of the intricate details that we perhaps wasn't able to make out upon seeing Optimus appear in the movie. Upon looking at these images, you could definitely see the amount of detail that 3A have once again packed into this particular piece. I do believe that these figures are roughly about 12 to 15 inches in height. Seeing as is Optimus Prime, he will be considerably larger than their Deluxe Bumblebee, which I believe was about 8 inches in height. Speaking of height, here we have a comparison between the Deluxe Optimus Prime compared to their newly revealed premium scale Bumblebee. As you can see, he is roughly the same size as that Bumblebee, which I believe is about 14 to 15 inches in height. So I am not mistaken in saying that this figure is going to be roughly 12 to 13 inches. As you can see, he will include a display base and also include a variety of different hands, including his signature blaster that we see him wielded within the movie. I have led to believe that this figure will in fact include die-cast parts, much like their deluxe Bumblebee that was released earlier on in this year. And personally, I think the inclusion of a stand with this particular piece is fantastic, as in the film, we do see Optimus pulling off a variety of different dramatic poses. My only downside with this particular figure is that 3A are once again still using interchangeable hands as opposed to articulated fingers, considering this figure is a lot larger than their Deluxe Bumblebee, it would have definitely have been nice to have seen them implement articulated hands on this piece as opposed to just different hands. Nevertheless, upon analysing the hands, I can definitely see that they have given us a wide selection of different poses that the hands can do, so you'll no doubt be able to get this figure expressing himself in whatever way you so choose. Taking a look at this full body image, here we have our best look at this particular piece yet, and as you can see, it's definitely very G1 inspired with a movie aesthetic applied over the top to make the design more detailed and intricate to match the designs of the movies. Upon comparing the 3A Deluxe Optimus Prime to the actual CG render from the movie, as you can see there really isn't no mishaps whatsoever. 3A have perfectly recaptured the appearance of Optimus Prime from the Bumblebee film and every single detail that you see on the CGI model is present on this new figure. I also really do love the paint applications that they've applied to this figure. 3A are really well known for giving some fantastic realism to their paint effects to make their figures look a lot more authentic to the source material and to make them stand out from other collectors. So there you have it, those are my thoughts on the brand new 3A Deluxe Optimus Prime. As of this recording, there is no announcement of a release date nor a price point, however if I was to guess I would imagine that this would be about $300, perhaps $250, and then it would come out either at the end of this year or very very early next year considering that they have Blitzwing coming out in the summer of this year. I'm not entirely sure when they would actually be able to ship this particular piece considering they do take an extremely long time to produce. Personally, I would definitely recommend picking this figure up from the images that we've got so far it definitely looks to be a fantastic piece this design has quickly established itself as a fan favorite among the fans so if you are an Optimus Prime collector or just a Transformers collector in general you're definitely going to want to pre-order this piece as it will no doubt be the holy grail of many collectors collections I hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please let me know down in the comment section below and until my next review I'll see you then thanks for watching